it was back and forth and I guess one of two halves. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, you've got to show different sides throughout a season of, of what you've got as a team in the makeup. And I think, you know, everyone will go away and first thing they'll think is we were poor in the first half and we didn't do this and we didn't do that. Sometimes you have to give credit to the opposition. Everyone looks at your own team. I look at how the game panned out and what the opposition did. They had, they've had a week to work on playing against us. They had a free, free midweek. Um, whether they did or not, I don't know, but it certainly looked like they did. And they had a game plan and they were excellent. And we struggled with it. And the boys are human and, you know, on the back of a 4-0 win, you think they're going to come out and, at home and, and dominate and, and we couldn't. And, uh, you know, we found ourselves 2-0 down to two, two goals from them and that's a hard place to be. And I think that's a time when you can cave. That's a time when you get frustrated, you lose your shape and it can become three. And, and, and we didn't let that. Wes has chased down the lost calls, been very brave in getting his first goal. Um, and the boys showed real character today. And how else did you counter it then? How did you get back on top? It looked like you changed the shape a little bit in the second half and, and possibly went a bit more direct. Yeah, so you have to, as a manager, that's where you've got to earn your money on a, on a Saturday. The, the, you know, it wasn't going our way. It was hard, it's hard to change it during a game sometimes and get the messages across. So we had to wait till half time to try and do it. And Wes has given us a lifeline. Um, and the second half, we just, you know, we just talked about playing uh, three up higher. Um, and playing three up against their back four and, and then trying to work in the wide areas with our full-backs. Try and pin them back and then get our full-backs wide. And we was coming in field too much and their game plan was to stifle the middle of the pitch. And we were playing into their hands in the first half. Um, not quick enough, as, as we all know. But the second half, I think the second half, the first 15 minutes, the boys took me literally. And those fans who want us to get the ball forward, you can see when we get it wrong in that first 15 minutes of the second half, we tried to force things and we got counter-attacked and we could have conceded two goals. And, you know, you've got to get balance in your play. And then after that first 15 minutes, we got the balance, got the goal back and I thought we could have gone on and won it. And at half-time, you made a change. You, you went back to Tuesday night's team. Why did you change it in the first place? Um, because Shieldsy was only being rested. Shieldsy wasn't dropped, so when you when you go into a week and you've got a game plan away from home at Woking that it will suit Regan, and at home at the end of the week we thought it would suit Shieldsy. Um, we we looked at it and went we didn't want to flog the same horses every every day, so we had a game plan that that was going to be the week. So why would I just because of a win then go I'm going to change my mind? And, and Shieldsy came back in, and that's what it is. It's a squad game, and Regan gets playing time. They all get playing time. Um, you know, you come up with ways of trying to win games. Um, you mentioned it already, the amount of strength of character that it showed to, to be 2-0 down, to come back, to make it 2-all. And you, as you mentioned, it looked like there was only one team, in fairness, at the end that was going to go on and win that. Um, what are you learning about that group of players that you've assembled in there? Well, I think we've all learned today that's a side of uh, the team that we haven't had to see for a little while. Um, the games are all different and today's game became a bit end-to-end -end against a good team. They had threats, so you always had that worry that you could get caught on the break. Um, but we kept going, as I say, at the end of a three-game week where they had a slight advantage of only having two. Uh, I thought we looked strong. I thought the boys have given absolutely everything. Um, they've shown real character to come back from 2-0 down. And as a fan, I think that's all you can ask for sometimes. It was fun at the end. I mean, it's back and forth. And Was it, was it fun for you? Not really. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's fun when I'm looking towards our home end and, and looking at the chances we create. But you always felt that there was just that that chance that they could get in and, and get a shot off at some point. So you're always on, on tender hooks. A word on Wes Thomas. That's uh, four goals in the week, two braces in a row. Um, what's he been doing so right of late, apart from sticking the ball in the back of the net? <laughs> it's, it's exactly what centre forwards are in there for. Um, you know, people, listen, everyone wants to play football manager, don't they? And everyone's got favourites of players they think should be in the team and should not. My job is to keep everyone on their toes. My job is to trust the players that we've got and 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 um, keep them all believing that if they train well and they, they work hard that they'll get their chance and there's no favourites and there's no somebody's in and you're not. And I'm doing that with the forwards to keep them working hard, keep them on their toes. And Deno's come in and scored. He's come back out. Wes has come in and scored. So it's it's keeping everybody on their toes. Does that result this evening and the fact you managed to come back from 2-0 down mean that you can, you can enjoy a week away from the league action and, and the FA Cup next weekend? Um, I'd rather be playing in the league. I mean, the FA Cup's fantastic, we know that, but but you you want to keep going with your 
your momentum and try and pick it up. We've had a four-point week. We wanted a six-point week after after Saturday, so um, we're a bit disappointed. But I say credit to Hartlepool for they were excellent today.